puddle. Oh. It's getting a lot lighter outside. Like a lot lighter outside. Hmm. That's okay. That's a good thing. <sighs> I'm ready to go back to bed. <sighs> but it's showtime. Three, two, one. Good morning, everybody, and welcome. Today is Monday, February 17th, 2020. My name is Jeremy, and this is my first cup of coffee. Well, I hope you had a wonderful weekend, a fantastic weekend, an excellent weekend, lots of superlatives. I hope, hope you had a superlative-ridden weekend. What did I do? Well, let's see. So Friday was work and went to the gym. Saturday I slept in, did a little bit of work around the house, went to the gym. Good morning, Casper. and really just kind of took it easy. I needed a day to do very little, and that's what Saturday was. Yesterday, a little bit of work, and then went for a hike. The hike was, oh. hike was most of the day, uh, between preparing, driving, and hiking. And, uh, good morning, Stacey. And as hikes for me are uh, want to go, It was an adventure. So, how do I mean by an adventure? Well, let's see, I, I got to the trailhead and got the car stuck, and a guy came with a tractor and pulled me out. And then I couldn't get to the top of where I was going because I couldn't find it <laughs> because at the very top, I was apparently the only one who tried had tried to get there, and the snow was on everything, so I couldn't find the trail. I couldn't find. I got. I probably got within a hundred feet of the, of the trailhead, uh, but the snow was so deep that I wasn't going to just keep stomping around looking. And so I got up there, and it was cold, and. <sighs> I took some pictures and said, I guess I'm going to try this one again when, when it's not snowing. So. Oh well. The gentleman who pulled me out with his tractor was a really nice guy. I discovered that my car does not have one of the little screw-in eye hooks to be towed out of things. Fortunately, he had one. I need to go buy one. Never would have assumed the car didn't have one. So that was a little frustrating. Um, what else? He had Scottish Highland cattle, and I pet them. One of them tried to murder me. I was scratching one of them on the head, and he decided he did not like that at that moment. And his, I mean, his horns, let's see. If his head was here, one of his horns was this. I mean, it was, it was a very wide horn. Uh, bigger than the horns on, on the others, even though he was the smallest. I'm making assumptions that they were all he's, but I actually, I don't know that at all. Um, And it just swung, and I didn't even have time to pull my hand back. I had to pull my hand up. I had leaned back, pulled my hand up, and the horn came within six inches of my body. And it was forceful enough that if it had caught me, it would have opened me up. Um, you know, not that these things were razor sharp, but sharp enough. And uh, so I was done petting that one. But... Uh, rather impressed with my reflexes. So, another use of martial arts, don't get gored by cows. I wasn't bad at the cow. Got some good pictures. 
Got some good pictures at the top, pictures of the cows. Tried flying the drone that I got, and uh, it's definitely not a winter hiking piece of equipment. Too much wind, too much snow. Um, too many trees. <laughs> um, Stacy's asking about photos. I, I put some photos up on Instagram, but I don't think you're on Instagram, Stacy. So uh, I'm going to try and make a post later today with some of those on Facebook. And uh, so what's going on today? I feel like throwing my bag in the, my, my bag in the car and seeing if I can make it to a class somewhere. I just feel like training. We'll see if that's gonna work out. I don't know. But I might do it. I might go over to Mad River and see my friends there. I haven't trained with them in a while. And if I'm gonna spend all this time so here's something that's happened that, that is has, having an interesting impact on my life. Um, one of my clients, and I think I mentioned this, one of my clients had one of their employees walk out. And so I've been filling in, helping out as much as I can with some things. And in doing so, I'm getting office space and I, I get to work there and use it whenever I want, which means I'm spending more time in a different area. You know, I'm spending more time, for those of you that are local, up in Williston. There are quite a few martial arts schools up there. Some with people who have been bugging me to come train. So, who knows? Maybe I'll start training somewhere else as well. Anything else to report? I don't think so. It's really light out, which is nice. Oh, you know the other thing that I, I did this weekend, which was, which I've never done before, and some of you will get this, some of you will just not get this. I made plans for, my, my garden plan for the year. Um, figured out what was going where and when I had to start it inside and when to transplant it, what to direct seed. Um, Last year, gardening was more of an afterthought because I like to grow things. I just don't like going through the work of maintaining them. So I end up with, you know, dozens of plants inside and then I need to find somewhere for them to go. And some of them never got transplanted. In fact, some of them, I've got pepper plants that I just nursed through all winter that are sitting over there. I'll plant those this year. Did you know peppers are perennials? I did not know that until last year. Peppers are perennials. So we'll see how well they do as second year plants. All right. That's enough randomness for my life. Let's look at some questions. I know I've got some questions in here. And if you want to ask me some questions, you should drop them below after the episode. And I will answer them tomorrow. We're still in Black History Month. So we got some, some quotes coming in uh, today from three quotes from Jackie Robinson, who, of course, broke the color barrier in baseball and uh, I wish I could have been around for that because if I'm remembering correctly baseball was the first professional sport to have a black athlete yeah. a life isn't significant except for its impact on others lives a life isn't significant except for its impact on others' lives. Yeah, I completely agree. When we think about anyone who's important or significant, whether it's, you know, recent conversation on the passing of Kobe Bryant, or if we look back in time, Jackie Robinson, if we go back further to, well, 
kind of stay with this theme here, I guess. Not intentionally, but this is what's coming to mind. Abraham Lincoln. Why do we remember Abraham Lincoln more than other presidents? Because of what happened under his presidency. Because of the impact that was made. Why did Jackie Robinson, why was he significant? Because he had an impact on others by being the first, by being willing to undertake that controversy. Uh, I'm sure it did not make his life easier and his willingness to endure that. Kobe Bryant's passing was significant because Kobe Bryant as a player was popular. He made the game more enjoyable for people he had an impact on others. It reminds me too, and I'm probably not going to get this quote exactly right, but there's a quote from Mother Teresa that there are no great acts, only small acts done with great love. And again, that's the impact. The love is the impact. I've always liked that. In fact, I was thinking of that quote yesterday for some reason. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this, but uh, in college, I met someone who, uh, she was on the speaking circuit, you know, she traveled to colleges. And, um, we bonded. She reminded me a bit of my mother, and I think I reminded her a bit of her son, and we just connected. She had a rosary given to her by Mother Teresa. And you can believe me or not, but it was hot. She would let me hold it, and it was hot. Not hot because it was on her skin. It was hot. Next. The most luxurious possession the richest treasure treasure anybody has is his personal dignity. <laughs> I don't know that I would have agreed with this when I was younger. But I do now. As Whistlekick has grown, as we have addressed controversial topics, as I have put myself out there to take a stand on certain things, I've been attacked. Just this weekend, I had someone bring something up from a year ago on an episode that made them unhappy. They felt attacked. And we talked about it. Well, we messaged about it. Just because I feel one way about something. Just because I make a claim doesn't mean that first I'm right, because we're talking about subjective things. I'm not so arrogant as to believe that I'm always right. Oh, by the way, I shaved. If you couldn't tell, <laughs> I have no more hair. I have eyebrows, that's it. But my integrity is such that I'm not going to compromise my values. I'm not going to capitulate because someone disagrees and presses. What we say matters. How we say it matters. What we feel about it matters. Integrity is something I believe other people can pick up on. I think we can feel it. Maybe not loudly. But it's a, an element of character that... that I think resonates. And I think the stronger it is... 
the more compelling it is for others. I've always been a good salesman for the things that I believe in because I don't even consider it selling. Back when I had the IT company, now with consulting or whistle kick, it doesn't matter. If I have an idea or if somebody is a good potential customer for any of these things, it doesn't take much for me to have a dialogue that leads to a good result because I know the quality of the products, the quality of the work, and my job is simply to share that with them. Imagine you were selling cars that you knew didn't break. It'd be a pretty easy job to sell that car. And that's kind of how I look at what we do at Whistlekick. It doesn't break. I don't just mean the product, I mean the mission. What are we trying to do? We're trying to grow traditional martial arts. We're trying to keep people in it and attract new, new people to it. We're trying to make it dynamic and sexy, and I don't mean sexual, but just appealing in, that, in a, a compelling way. And any financial success that hopefully comes someday uh, is completely secondary. Stacy says, whistle cake helps people break. Um, for any of you who are at all interested in watching two women destroy many trees, you might consider following Stacy or Laura, uh, who together are Team Smashy Smash, um, which is, uh, I don't know how we express it. You guys kind of do your own thing. You're, you're kind of a, a ro not quite a rogue team, um, but always happy to see what you're doing and the uh, and it's, it's, it's a great example of integrity. Laura and Stacy have tremendous integrity and they travel around to breaking competitions and break a lot of things, a lot of wood. And I never have to question the fact that they have the whistle kick logo on the back of their uniform because I know how they conduct themselves. There's enough integrity there. There's tons of integrity. A side team, sure, that works. A side, side team to team whistle kick. Integrity matters. Make sure you have some. Next. Last question for the day. I don't think it matters what I believe, only what I do. Another way. Another way to say, actions speak louder than words. One of the things that frustrates people that I say from time to time is your actions reflect your priorities. When someone says, I don't have time to do that, what you're really saying is, that is not as important to me as the things that I do. If something's really important to you, you make time for it. If it's not, you make excuses. That's not my line, but I like that line. We have 24 hours a day to show the world what's important to us, to show the people important to us what's important to us. How do you use them? That doesn't mean that you burn the candle at both ends and you never sleep and you compromise your health. But sometimes it does. Sometimes it means you work extra. Sometimes it means you practice harder. 
Sometimes it means you relax. Because you need that balance. Because balance is another word of sustain for sustainability. And sustainable is the way you live a better life. And a longer life. And a healthier life. So that you can continue to choose how to spend those 24 hours a day. Instead of having them chosen for you or taken away altogether. Yeah. It doesn't matter what I... I don't think it matters what I believe, only what I do. One of the changes I've made in my own life over the last couple years is I don't apologize. And I don't mean I never apologize, but I, my habit used to be if I did something that I, I thought someone else didn't like, I would apologize. I would seek them out. I would make, try to make it right. Even on very small things. I don't do that anymore. What do I do? I spend some time with it, and if I'm actually sorry, if I did something that I think was wrong, I make sure I don't do it again. I work hard to not repeat the same action. And over time, people start to respond to that. It's part of integrity. People don't care if you're sorry. They care that they can trust you. All right. I think that's a good place to end it. I hope you have a fantastic day. Remember, subscribe and turn on notifications. We do this show every weekday morning, 6.30 a.m. Eastern here on YouTube. You can catch it later, of course. Or you can listen to it as a podcast. If you want to support the work we do at Whistlekick, patreon.com slash whistlekick or... Make a purchase at whistlekick.com. Use the code FIRSTCUP15 to save 15%. There's new stuff. Keep checking out the new stuff. If you want to drop a question, have me answer it, leave it in the comments below. Or if you're listening in audio, email me, jeremy at whistlekick.com. Now for your homework. Drum roll. Okay. Integrity. I think it all stems from integrity. I don't want you to spend time today considering your integrity. I want you to think about what integrity means to you. And I want you to think of the people around you and what their integrity looks like. Where are they doing well? Where are they not? Just spend a couple minutes on this. Think of the people that you trust. Think of the people you can count on. Think of the people who make it right when it's wrong and all the other elements that go into being an integritous individual. And think about what qualities from those people maybe you want to pull a little bit stronger into your life and how you want to be as a human being. So, take care, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Peace.